we brought on one of our first AI apprentices, Henry. And I just want to ask you, Henry, what are some things that you love about the program? What I love about this program is the biggest thing, versatility and freedom while I work. I've done a lot of my work in completely different places. I can work from my house. I can work from my cabin. I can basically work from wherever I want and still do anything as long as I have internet access and Wi-Fi. That's amazing. And that's something that's been huge for me too is Dennis and I, over the last month, we've been to eight countries and we've spoke at conferences in five or six different states. And during this time, we got the same amount of output done that we normally would at home, but we are balancing the life with these super fun things that we get to do. And so that's also what I love about this position as well. Definitely. And so I know before this, you had, I would say, little to no experience. What have been some of the things that you've picked up so far along the way? Yeah, there's great learning opportunities. I've been able to figure out how to communicate with people. I didn't really have any work experience prior to this. I've been able to work at school with other people, but it's gr greatly helped me to communicate with others, get work done on time, and finish what you said you would finish. Following through. That's yep. right. What about some skills outside of that? Because obviously that we're calling this the AI apprenticeship program. What's been some of the tools and things that you've learned to use at a high level? Yeah. People have talked about older people like to use a lot less words, and that's what I used to do. I wouldn't actually talk to it much, but I've learned how to reason with the AI, like we've talked about, and actually be able to work with the AI mm -hmm. instead of just use it as a search tool. Yeah, so I know one of the bigger projects that you've been on has been for a dentist in Atlanta, and you know, me and you have been working together on that, so just tell us, what has that been like? What have some of the things we've been doing, and yeah? Yeah, it's been great because we are actually learning and talking with the actual client. We're not just getting assigned to do something. We're working with the person to figure out what they need and do what they need. So we're getting firsthand experience with an actual client. Yeah, what have been some of the tasks that we've completed for them and stuff like that? A lot of the tasks so far has been repurposing videos that we received from them. So they'll produce the original videos. Then we'll repurpose those videos into blog posts, long form or short form videos, and then post them onto their website or YouTube or Facebook. Yeah, and those are super valuable skills that, you know, as Jack has been talking about, in the upcoming years, that's what everyone is going to want, and that's what everyone already wants. And that's why, you know, this apprenticeship program is just so important because you are immediately have all these people who need exactly what you will have. And so it's a great opportunity. All right, so you've been working on a dentist so far. You have some other projects that don't really have anything to do with clients, but if you were to go on to another client, whether it be a plumber or a landscaper, whatever it may be, how would these things that you've already done apply to them as well? Yeah, so a lot of the stuff that we've done and that I've learned is very transferable between projects. So we could take a model of whatever we're using on the dentist to repurpose a video or anything like that, and we can use that on the plumber or whatever yeah. and but obviously change the specific details but we can use a very similar model that transfers between the two so we can make it repeatable yeah and that's only amplified by ai tools things like descripts underlord stuff like that you're able to now create prompts to just edit a video for you and of course yeah. you still need to understand the goals content and targeting for that piece if you actually want to make it good and it's not quite there yet in some areas but just gets, it's just getting easier all the time Henry, what is this journey being an AI apprentice? What was the first week like? What was the onboarding like? What's the time commitment now? What are you, what's expected of you? Yeah, so the first week was mostly me getting set up and learning different things. So I signed into all the new accounts that I got access to. Time-wise, how much I spend now, it really depends on projects that I take or that I want to take. What I try and do is get my projects done, not necessarily focus on a specific amount of time, but just if I don't have much time one week, I can say, I can't take this project right now, or I can pass it on and have someone else work on it for a bit. But it's really up to how much time you have yourself and how much time you're willing to commit. For these apprentices that are gonna be working on their own parents' business or someone they know's business, what do you think the time commitment for them would probably be? doing the same things that you're doing, but for their parents' business? If they're just working on one business alone, 
I'd say probably no more than an hour a day would, would suffice. You could obviously do more, but it wouldn't be a huge amount of time. All right, Henry, so every week we've been doing these MAA end of week reports for Flex Dental. And so just tell us, like, how has that been like? What have you contributed to these reports? How have they evolved every week? And then how has just the report itself gotten better? Yeah, so the MAA end of week report is basically just something we compile of all the work we've done that week for the specific business. And as we started at the very beginning, we just had making a little bit of content. But throughout the weeks or throughout the months of different end of week reports, they've slowly advanced and gotten bigger and bigger because we've added new things like an SEO report and all these new things that we have to change every single week. So as you, you started this client work, you're starting to work with clients. What was it kind of like at the start and how has it evolved and how is it going to continually evolve? Yeah, so for a lot of clients, they don't have much set up. So at the beginning, we have to set up a lot of stuff like websites for them, update their website because it probably hasn't been updated in a while. But once we get that base stuff off the ground and we just can start to automate more things, it's a lot easier and a quicker process. So Henry, what would you tell someone who is going into this and they're in a similar situation that you were in? They don't have much experience. They don't, they're not feeling entirely confident that they're going to be able to do this work. What would you tell to that person? Yeah, at the beginning, when I first started, I didn't really know much. Like I said, I had no experience, but there's so many resources that you have access to. And even if you do end up getting stuck, there's so many team members that have done this thousands and thousands of times that you can just fall back on them and learn from them. And then you can start doing that yourself. Yeah. Everything is documented. Everything that your dentists and blitz metrics and all that has done is out there. Quite simply, you can literally just search whatever you're saying. So for example, you know, when I'm looking for knowledge panel stuff, I can literally just search knowledge panel blitz metrics and all the stuff will come up. You can ask ChatGPT. It knows as well. You can ask any team members once again. Yeah. Tons of resources.